in today's session we will be seeing about the flow chart for the numerical impedance relay so in the last class we have discussed about the working of the working principle of the impedance relay so now just we'll analyze the algorithmic steps or the flow chart steps for the numerical interpretation of this relay now as usual you have to start you have to initialize the input and output ports of the microprocessor then you have to check the first condition is that you have to check is the fault is occurring in the forward direction so what does it mean if it is the fault is occurring in the forward direction means it says that you have incorporated a directional unit in the impedance relay okay so if it is the fault is going to be detected in the forward direction then you are supposed to compute your inputs that is your vdc and your idc okay so if not you have to wait for the fault occurring in the forward direction so here you are going to read the vdc and then you are going to convert it into the digital quantity and you have to store it in the memory once you have computed your vdc converted to digital and stored in the memory the next thing is that you have to read the idc the same way you convert into your digitized quantity and store it in the memory now the two parameters in digitized form are available one is your vdc and the other is your idc so based on this ratio v by i ratio you can compute the impedance now so this impedance relay what we have seen in the last class it depends upon your three zone protection the first zone protection is your primary protection which will act immediately or instantaneously without any delay so whatever is this ratio v by i ratio is taken as a z and this z1 z2 z3 it says the impedance for the first zone second zone and the third zone protection so here if you could see the first condition is considered when the impedance is going to be less than z1 in that case immediately without any delay you are giving the signal to the trip the circuit breaker else we move on to your second unit okay so in this second unit so if this condition is f f checked up that is if the fault condition if the fault impedance is going to be less than the z2 then in that case after a predetermined relay the relay the signal will be that is the circuit breaker will be opened then in this case of when z is less than z3 that is it is going to be the backup protection or for the second part of the line and for the adjacent line this will act as a third unit protection okay in this case after a predetermined that is when compared with this delay this delay will be more or a greater delay will be provided and then it will send the trip signal to the circuit breaker suppose if the if these things does not occur that is only if there is a fault the impedance will be less than the required value namely z1 z2 or z3 in that case suppose if the z is going to be greater than z3 in that case it jumps back and checks whether the fault is in forward condition or not and then it proceeds the procedure so we just find out the direction of the fault and then we are proceeding with your vdc and idc and check this ratio v by i ratio and if at all there is going to be a fault in that case the whatever the fault impedance will be less than your z1 z2 z3 accordingly the tripping action will be carried on thank you so in the next session we will be seeing about the reactance relay thank you